परम शिवास्तु में से डेरक के परम कैलास लेसन एवरी कास्मिक प्रिंसिपल when it is cognized in you and you start living you are grounded on cosmos add this as a new word new vocabulary how you call grounded when you want to praise somebody oh he is a grounded person ordinarily when somebody is grounded on how the society moves the understandings about the human mind and life you call him you praise him grounded i wanted to coin this new word grounded on cosmos if someone understands how the cosmos moves the whole cosmic logic and established in that i want to call that person grounded on cosmos grounded in cosmos just today we were discussing few days before a big snake appeared in tirunamalai ashram and ma bhaktika got into panic and in the cranky panicness she started messaging sending messages oh swami ji there is a big snake i don't know what to do i said come on first of all tirunamalai ashram is a huge property more than 3 acre land and it is hill just next to the reserve forest actually our border is reserve forest tirunamalai ashram our ashram land and border is reserve forest so we are the first private owned property and poor snake will not know it is a reserve forest border is ending and private property is beginning and i should not enter into private property he may not have seen our patta and all the legal documents and he cannot read also but on all the legal documents so you would have just walked in i said it's a 3 acre property just move out from where he is he will go away in half an hour or one hour they immediately messaged back no 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 he is raising the hood and threatening all of us then i said you guys must have done some stupidity tell me the details this row few days before one small snake came we killed it ah that is where the whole problem starts what's the need to kill you see if there are kids you can't vacate them immediately from that place the kids life is in danger only then you are allowed to kill even a snake even an animal which is directly dangerous to your life can be killed only if there are kids and the, their life is in danger if you are an adult and you can save yourself from that animal you should only think of saving yourself or driving them out no killing and i tell you this palgar lynching sadhus lynching video we could not even see that video when i saw that video this is what i told all my kailasavasis hey listen this bloody cheap demons who are killing the sadhus in palgar they may be great successful in grabbing the land actually the whole conversion is nothing but the tactics of grabbing more land and just grabbing nations 
whether it is militant missionaries or missionary militants, it's all about grabbing land. It's a political strategy and cunning agendas, strategies and agendas. It has nothing to do with cosmic principles or enlightenment or spiritual truths. Using religion to grab land, nations, is the worst thing. Anyhow, when I was seeing that video, I told our guys, hey, even a snake, killing a snake, we think so many times, so many things, once my Kailasavasis from Trivandamalai, they told me that they killed a small snake. I said, now complete with the snake for killing that small baby snake. He has come to ask for justice. Then immediately on my Trishul, I had the Naga Devata, Naga Raja. I apologized to him, I completed with him and prayed, please. Make sure that Kailasavasis are safe and I will also make sure that no snake is killed unless somebody's life is in danger. This casual killing I will not allow. The moment I connected and completed with Nagaraja, just few seconds, only few seconds, that snake which came in Thiruvannamali Ashram, threatening everyone for hours, disappeared. It just moved to the roof and disappeared. I told our guys, we Hindus can never think of killing some human being so brutally ganging up. You see, this ganging up and killing means all the 200 fellows are demons then. They are so demonic. All the 200 are convinced that this murder is right. Innocent sadhu, who, they don't even know him, who he is. They only know him that he is wearing a kavi, saffron rope. He is a Hindu sannyasi. He is a mahant of a very respected Hindu order, Akada Parishad. Akada Parishad is the largest apex body of Hinduism, understand. And he belongs to that apex body. He is the mahant, sitting mahant. 70 year old sannyasi. And his assistant is a Balasant. He took sannyas when he was 12. Kalpavar Shigari Maharaj is a 70 year old Mahant. Sushilgiri Maharaj took sannyas when he was 12. Balasant. They belong to a very respected, a classy, elite Sampradaya. Even otherwise, nobody has a right to kill a sadhu who is wearing a saffron. No weapon. He doesn't have any weapon on him. This bunch of dash, dash, dash. You feel all the worst bad words you know. This bunch of dash, dash fellows Demons are able to gang up and kill. The worst kind of killing. See, it's not that in one corner they strategically made the accident kind of thing happen or they strategize and put one bomb. In that way, we can say, all right, only one person is involved, one person is only demon. But here, 
all the 200 or whoever how many number is involved so many demons living in one village means the village whole village is demonized and they are convinced about not only killing enemy killing whom they think as enemy who is, does not even have a weapon from whom they don't have any direct danger and now lot more details are emerging out these demons may have that land and these demons are very powerful and their ecosystem you see the, no media is talking about it the great liberal gang in india award wapasi gang none of them react because it is their ecosystem 